Come in. Hello and welcome to my office. My office in a submarine. Office in a submarine. Yes, yes. Because that's what we're all about here at Creative Possibilities. Office, submarine. Jube jubes? Pardon me? Would you like some jube jubes? Uh, sure, sure. Teapot. Jube jubes. <laughs> jube jubes in a teapot. A teapot for tea, but with jube jubes in it. Office, submarine. <laughs> you see, here at Creative Possibilities, we like to look at the world in a fresh and exciting way. The imagination is a dying animal. But here at Creative Possibilities, we like to feed that animal and give that animal room to roam. Office, submarine. Uh, may I have a seat, please? Yes, of course. But here at Creative Possibilities, you don't have to sit on a chair. You can sit on, um, uh, oh, uh, some paper. I'll take a chair, thanks. <laughs> I was just throwing that out off the top of my head. And while I think of it, can you guess what I'm wearing for underwear? No, no, I can't. The body of a guitar. <laughs> the body of a guitar in the place of underwear. Office submarine, creative possibility. Did I mention the imagination is a dying animal? Yes, you did, yes. Good. Just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Now, how can I help you? Well, Mr. Villain, I'm from the bank. And you have not made any payments on your submarine. I sent you my payments. No, Mr. Villain, what you sent us was a lot of empty pop cans. Pop cans, money, office, submarine! No, 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 no Mr. Villain. Pop cans, pop cans, money, money. Did I mention the imagination is a dying animal? You have no money, do you, Mr. Verlaine? Money? Money is everywhere! Money is not my problem. You are the enemy of imagination. People like you, for instance, think that poems have to rhyme, or that songs have to have a catchy melody, or that a comedy sketch has to have an ending. <laughs> You're not going out tonight? Nah, I'm really tired, eh? I'm just gonna stay home, watch TV, smoke a joint. You know, I was in the cellar till four o'clock last night. Did coke, I'm beat. Okay, well, let's go out to the gay Latin bar tomorrow night, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I hear it's really hot. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Oh, I gotta go. I got another call coming. Okay, bye bye, Butch. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Butch. It's me. Oh! Hi, Smitty. What you doing? Nothing. Are you going out? <sighs> nah, I'm really tired. I'm just gonna stay in, watch TV, smoke a joint. I'm pretty tired, too. Renovations. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just stay in. Okay, great idea. Talk to you later. Night. Okay, night. Five, 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 jerk. <laughs> oh, I get it. Five, 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 three, seven, five. That's easy. Whoa. Welcome to five, 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 jerk. The phone sex service where you get to jerk with other jerks. And press one to record a hot voice message for other hot guys to peruse as they cruise the system. Uh, 
really hot blonde guy, very versatile, top and bottom. <laughs> very, very hot and very, very hung. Looking for other hot guys into hot phone talk. Your message has been accepted. For live connections, press 1. You are now being connected. Get ready to meet the hottest guys in cyberspace. Hello? Hey. My name is The Raven. Are you ready to party? Yeah, Raven. You sound really hot. What do you look like? Well... I'm 21, blonde, blue eyes, smooth swimmer's build, eight inches cut, of course, one sweet ass and really muscular legs. A lot of people think I'm in movies, but I'm not. So, what do you look like? Well, a lot of people think I'm in the movies too, but porn, eh? You sound really hot. Why don't you come over? Sure. Where do you live? Uh, 105 Isabella, apartment 305. Oh, I have a friend who lives in 105. <laughs> Hello? 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 Raven? Raven? Wow, what attitude. You have another caller. Press 3 to access the voice message. Bonjour, mon amour. Je suis très honi ce soir. Call me if you want a hot time with a really hot Quebecois stud lover. Wow, French! Press 2 to connect live with this caller. Hello? Hello? Are you French? Yes, my name is Roland. Are you hot? Yeah, I'm hot, Roland. So, Roland, what are you into? I'm into French kissing, frottage, fromage, et ça va s'entendre. What? What? Six eggs? Ooh, I like your forceful tone. You are so, how do you say in Anglais? Butch. Hey, that's my name, Butch. I know, you see, I'm also psychic. Wow, far out. Yes, I'm getting a vision of you lying on a tiger skin rug. Wow, that's me, wow. And I also sense that you have very incredible, brilliant, very hot friends. No. Yes, you have very hot, brilliant friends, and they say that you're a real slut and you're really into poppers. Hey, what happened to your accent, Riley? Yes. Oh! Hey, how did you know it was me? Well, I recognize your voice right away, you idiot. Oh, 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 you are too much. <sighs> Oh, oh, Butch, I gotta go. I got another call. Somebody real. Yeah, I got another call, too. Talk to you tomorrow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's the Raven again. <laughs> Sorry about disconnecting before. Look, I'm under house arrest and I can't come over. But there's no reason why we can't talk. So, the Raven, what are you into? Well, I'm into... Vincent Price movies and shiny things. Be on your best behavior and don't give your daddy a hard time. Yes, Mom. And don't let your father give you too much junk food to eat. Yes, Mom. Well, hurry. Come on. It's almost time. Yay! Yay! We're going to see Daddy. Yay! Yes, we're going to see Daddy. Yay! We're going to see Daddy. Yay, we're gonna see daddy. Yay, we're gonna see daddy. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Okay, then. What did your mother do on Tuesday? Well, she... Everything in graphic detail. I've got to know. Well, she made us breakfast. Breakfast? Eggs? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, I miss your eggs. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Well, Uncle Nick came over. Uncle Nick? You don't have an Uncle Nick. It's Mommy's new friend. She told us to call him Uncle Nick. Uncle, huh? Kids, let me show you something. I want to read you the definition of the word uncle. You use uncle to describe the brother of one of your parents. You do not use it to describe the new guy your mother's bagging! <laughs> I look at what you learn. You can use it to describe your mother very well. Repeat after me, kids. My mother is. <laughs> My mother is. <laughs> Can we go to the zoo now? We're supposed to go to the zoo. We are going to the zoo. Via the house. Are you sure your Uncle Nick was supposed to come over this weekend? He was supposed to come over every weekend. Oh. I'm hungry. You said we were going to eat. Yeah, yeah, eat. Climb, sit down. There's Uncle Nick in the bathroom beside Mommy. Where? Where? You kids stay in the car. Daddy will be back in a second. Uh, Frank, this is Frank! Frank! Frank, you're overreacting. Frank! 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 Get up, boy! You're right, I was crazy! <laughs> well, kids, our weekend together is almost over. Promise me you do well in school. Yes, Daddy. Have a good week. Oh, and tell your mother, I've also met someone. <laughs> Come on, kids, it's time to go. Let's go. Let's get out of Hey! I made your uncle say uncle, didn't I, Nick? As we reported during the cooking show today, six of the seven members of the popular rock band Living Proof were tragically killed last night when their tour bus crashed in the mountains outside of Lansing, Michigan. Today, the sole surviving member of the band and their manager spoke with reporters. Just want to say they were incredible guys. They were guys I love to manage and who I managed to love. Yeah. Thank you. This is Deke the drummer who would like to read a prepared statement. <clears throat> I think it's really sad what happened yesterday. Thanks. If there's any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. I mean, sad to answer. Them. I have a question. Yeah. It's a very sad loss. Why aren't you two on the bus? Um. Okay. Well, when a band is really tight, right? And I mean, we were really, really tight. Um. I think what Deke is trying to say, if I may, Deke, that one of the tragedies of this huge loss is that people will never know how really warm and funny... I mean, these guys were really funny, really warm Truly warm, warm and funny that these guys were. The case in point, on the night in question, they left without us on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just think that uh, proves how warm and funny they were. Truly warm. <laughs> Is there any information yet on the cause of the crash? Uh, well, I think the crash was caused by the bus hitting the wall, wasn't Busting. it? Yeah. <laughs> 
This may be a, a little early to ask, but are there any future plans? Yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to take a couple of days off, and then, you know, I'm going to finish the tour. What? 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 This great band sold out 35 sold out dates, and it would be terrible to disappoint their fans. Right. I mean, if Living Proof, if Living Proof said they were coming to your town this summer, we're going to make sure we keep our word. So we're doing the tour! We? <laughs> yes, yes, we. We've decided that Deke from now on will use the term we. Yeah. So this is to help people imagine that there's more than just Deke and his drums on stage. It's, it's sort of a hard concept, but once you hear it a few times, you get it, really. How can you justify touring a drum kit? Sorry? How can you justify touring a drum kit? Um, well, like this, uh, you know, the spirit of living proof is in me, and, you know, the band was energy, and I still have that energy. But don't you think the fans came to hear Jay's guitar riffs and John's vocals? Yeah, no, sure, sure, but they're dead. I mean, they're dead. Look, I think that once people hear the drumming, you know, uh, you know, it'll set their minds to it because I'm doing all the songs from all eight albums, right? All the B-sides, some covers, and, I, and I'm even going to do some stuff that I heard Jay humming on the day of the crash. <laughs> I don't think the rest of the band would want you to do this. No. Well, we knew them, not you. Yeah. <laughs> and, all right, you know, if, if I'm not enough, then they can always buy the new album. But I heard that the new album was only partially completed. What? The new album is only partially completed. Yes, uh, that's why we are calling it We're Partial to Our Music. I'm sorry, excuse me, can I say something? Could I say something? Look, uh, you know, I can understand that everyone's upset. I'm upset that the band is gone, and I'd like you to know that if I could have been on that bus with them, I would have been there. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. But, you know, yeah. I'm not, and I think you people are angry at me because I'm still alive, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, let's remember that Deke is really the victim here. Yeah. Uh, show him the t-shirt. We, we, we even went out and had a special t-shirt for what we're gonna do the tour with. Vigil tour? How did you get those t-shirts so fast? No more questions, End that's it. Press. No more questions. Thank you very much. We gotta go. We gotta go. I would have done something, but it's at times like this, my gun is useless. What time is it? It's 10 to 4. No, the time is now. <laughs> you were right to do 
science class? I went to high school for a while, but then I left, pretty much on my own terms. And now, I can pay the big bucks. <gasps> it's party time, boys. <laughs>